Hello, I will talk today about the re rehabilitation of buildings. Uh, you have many cases or there are many cases where you should update or carry out rehabilitation for your structures. Uh, some of these cases can be if you have a load change, for example, here, you have a load, load change. What does it mean? It means that you might have some changes on your building that can be the roof or maybe you can add two or three floors to your existing building. So that will be a load change. You can have a layout change in your structure, which means that you need to remove some of the of the walls or the even columns and you have to find a new path for this load or the uses change. When you change the use of the building, for example, from a residential building to be institutional or to be like if you want to have like uh, change a small building to have for example like kindergarten or change the load or s school or something so that if you, the use of the building changes the live load will change and you might have a new requirement additional fire requirement so in this case you need to have a rehabilitation for your structure or if there is a code upgrade the code upgrade so if you have your building in an old one and you have a heritage building and you want to make sure that the building will uh, be strong enough to resist any any additional loads and it should be it should match the new code requirement then you might have an upgrade for your building or rehabilitation and if we have a case here in canada in ottawa our canadian parliament is now a, under a big rehabilitation because of the use of the building and code upgrade here uh, to explain that more i have a case study and that was one of our office project. It's an old office, uh, old project actually. And uh, so uh, here you can see that uh, there are the buildings under construction. It's already existing, and they carry out rehabilitation for the struct for this building. And they added mezzanine, and they added uh, new loads on the roof, and they changed the location of the skylight, and so on. So they they have a big big modification for this building and if you go here you can see the load location we have new heating units on the roof and they are still under like in the, with their in their packages here and the the work is still on the roof itself that was during one of our site visits and now if i know the location of this load and i know that i have a steel deck then i have to provide support for the new location of this load and this support for example you can provide an angle or whatever steel member here we provided angle to get the load or to support the new units and when we get the load locations that's very important to look at the location and how can the load from this unit go to the to the joist after that we have to check the joist capacity so uh, will the joist be strong enough to carry this load or not and is the joist supported on uh, steel beams will this beam be capable of carrying this load or not is that another question and the column capacity at the end the beam is supported on a column so what about the capacity of the column do you, does the column need additional support and also then you have to look at the foundation capacity here we provided the angle to support the load as i mentioned now our second point will be looking at the joist capacity so here you can see that the support of the of the roof units and here at the top cord and the bottom cord we added bars inside additional area of steel and to welded to the top cord and bottom cord and here if you can see that there is a bar inside and welded to the angle and that can provide additional strength and that's only what we needed to put here it's not like when when you have a rehabilitation it doesn't mean that you have to add big members but you have to carry out your study and provide whatever required to support this additional load so the top cord we know the top cord and bottom cord and here we provided the strengthening or the bars to strengthen it, to strengthen them and with welding uh, the new bar to the angles. Now here we have 
the panel point and when you get the load from the mechanical unit at the top the, the angle will carry the load to this here to the top cord and we know the top cord in, in the joist in typical floors will be under compression force and the bottom cord will be subjected to tensile force when you have the load in the middle here that means this part of the top cord will be subjected to bending so it has a point load here and it might bend so the top cord is not designed for bending it is designed for compression so that's why when you have the load here coming to this top cord location you need to get a path for the load to go to the panel point that's why we added additional angle here to come to the panel point and we designed the size of this angle and we have to provide the welding for that so that's here you get you come to the panel point that's very important you don't add load in the middle of the top cord now the that the diagonal member here to come to the panel point and as a support here you have to check also what's the capacity of this member as a support and we added an additional member here to increase the capacity of this member of the diagonal as a support so you have to check for the joist itself the top cord capacity bottom cord capacity get the load to the panel point check the diagonal members and check at the support location after that you can check also the column capacity and the slenderness that's for the column design itself you might need to have a additional additional support to the column you can add additional plate you can add maybe a channel or you can add an hss next to the existing column but that means you will have a huge load if you need to to exceed the capacity of the column so that means you have a, also a big change in your load path so that's here for for this uh, location of the joist at, at the column and here we have a skylight at the skylight we know that you can have also the trimmer around the opening we we spoke about that in in in, in the timber you have the to provide the trimmer and based on the skylight weight so you might need to to add to support the uh, existing joist or not that depends on on the the size of the glass the weight and many other parameters N now during the uh, during the construction the, you can see that they added here another window and you have uh, a lintel and they added another floor that additional mezzanine here that was added but this mezzanine has uh, columns and entrance and we dealt with the foundation so it doesn't have effect on, on the roof but we had to dig and create new foundation and that might explain this excavation what you what you saw here in this in this picture uh, moving forward you can also look at the beam capacity and here we have the knee bracing and at this beam there was missing the stiffener of the beam so they added stiffener on the side and it was already after painting the steel so we asked them to remove the painting here to make sure that they can weld the stiffener to the beam and you can see here our site visit was during the construction process and the welding the welding cable is still there so you can have you can add stiffener to the existing beam you can also uh, if the capacity of the beam is small you can add an additional plate from the uh, at the bottom flange or you can you can you have flexibility to modify and strengthen your beam it depends on the type of the load and the weakness which you want to cover in the in, in, in your beam and in this picture here there is a post above that like a point load above that and we know from the timber you can have like a whip stiffener or squash blocking and then here in the steel we have the whip stiffener and as you see they added the stiffener they removed the, the painting and added the stiffener to this to this beam in these pictures we have we have an existing building building that's heritage uh, building in king street in downtown toronto i think about 200 king street east and uh, so it's it, it's very nice building and when you go inside you find that they added a steel stairs into it and when they put the steel normally you have the columns and you want to get the load from the from the building to the foundation but here if they added columns at at the to support the stairs 
that will be in, in the way when you want to, to use your stair. So the architect and the structure engineer uh, work together and created this hangers. So you have the steel and it hangs from, from this uh, rods up to the roof. You have the hangers here and when you see the first flight, it sits here on the floor and you can go up to the roof and you have here another another rod to carry the load to the to, to the top. And another thing in this building is that's here the ground floor, but underneath that there is uh, a basement and the basement has, has a store and the load on this floor slab won't be uh, the load on the floor will be more than the capacity of the slab and that means the slab cannot take it and the reinforcing of the slab of the concrete slab should be carried out and as you saw from the previous pictures the reinforcing of, of structure steel roof is much easier so you can add the rods to the, to the roof and then you can strengthen your roof and get your loads to the roof and uh, that will be much easier and if you go to the other side here we have the rods going from from this mid landing up but now we can have a swing you know if you go to the parking and you have a swing for the for the kids so the stairs can 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 move horizontally and that has to be prevented so you need to provide rods horizontally here to provide stability for your steel stairs and here from this two side and there is another one from the back here and one from the at each mid landing so at each mid, la mid landing you have to support your stairs horizontally and you have here the rods going and taking the loads up to the roof and in the roof you can you can have your your uh, your rehabilitation which means adding another another steel member it can be angle it can be rods whatever you need to put into your existing steel structure and provide adequate support as you saw the steel structure is very handy to use within existing building if you if you want to add additional feature into it or if you want to strengthen your building and have a rehabilitation so a steel structure is very very adequate and convenient to work to work with on the site is different than timber and different than concrete. Thank you very much.